Welcome Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is your airy season. Your airy season begins from May 21st until April 19th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's look and see your major, major event. So it's as if you and the, oh my God, you and the Tauruses are having the same sort of a business situation. It is heavy for you earth sign people because this is a season of Aries. You um, or not the opposite sign of Aries. You are hurt. Aries is fire. So you will have these sort of problems and situations. So I see you hurt sign people, the Tauruses and the Virgos are also having problems. So Capricorns, let's see who you have to work with. All of your cards are in reverse. The Tauruses had also this. So go check out the Taurus reading. If your partner or someone at the workplace um, it's a Taurus. Go check out their reading because they also have uh, this energy also. So what we see is that um, some of you are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran. I see an end for this person and I see this person might have to be paying back, paying a whole lot of you back a whole lot of money. And I see truths is now revealed about this person. So whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you maybe is... um. Maybe it's you're going to be fired by a, a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, or maybe you have a, or was fired by an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Um, she brought an end to some sort of a contract. Um, yeah, uh, or this could have been personal officer also. Okay, um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. This is an older woman, so this could have been a manager or a personal officer or a director. Um, I've fired some of you or you're going to be fired. Okay. And I see you're going to be getting a payout and I see it's because of something came out. Um, some of you could have been doing something that was not above water and it came out and I see you will get fired. Some of you. Okay. That is just for some of you that your boss is an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, or there was some sort of a legal issue and that sort of a thing. At the end of the day, some of you could be getting money. Um, some of you, if you had some sort of an issue with your ex coworker or your ex boss, I see that uh, the lawsuit or the legal issue is over and you could be paid out uh, for the damage that they have created against you. Okay. So I see that this is a, a situation. So if some of you had sued your boss or so, it is going to be um a payout. This is the payout time for a lot of you, okay? And if you're fired, I see um this is the payout time for a lot of you. So who do we have in the reverse? And ladies and gentlemen, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person in the reverse. It can also be you Capricorns that was born in, in the, the Aquarian season. Um, could have done something that was not above water and you have been caught. Okay. So think about, uh, um, people who have Aquarian, Gemini or Libra in their birth chart. Um, or if you are born Capric Aquar Capricorn Aquarian. Okay. So you're born the cups of Capricorn Aquarian. It could be you. And you are the ones who are going to be fired from your job. And I see a payout could be coming in. And they found out that you did something um, in the past. And this is why. So if you were born Capricorn Aquarian, Capricorn Aquarian, if you were born Capricorn Aquarian, you are the one that could be fired. All right. Um, and our, if you have Gemini or Libra in your birth chart, you could be fired. But you're going to be getting a, um, some sort of a payout, all right? All righty, let's see what is happening. So when we have that energy of this fat lady in reverse, so this is an older person. So it could be a manager or it could be a personnel officer. And whatever is transpiring with the Queen of Swords, this is water of air. Now, when water of air comes up, think about water in here. It's about hurricane storm and she's really in the reverse form. So expect a, a, a load of problems coming from this person because whenever they're in the reverse, Aquarian, Gemini or Libra people, whenever they're in the reverse, it's not really a positive place and it's not really 
um, to have confrontation with these people. And I've learned one thing. You just shut them down. Shut them down, okay? So an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person is going to be coming at you. And especially if this is your boss or supervisor, because this person is coming up as a boss or supervisor. And this person... um for some of you try to use their powers around you and I see that they're going to be fired or their position is going to be moved. But um, if it's the opposite, if you're your boss or personal officer, I see um, you are going to be, um, they're going to be firing you. Now, some of you, whoever this woman is, have done you something in the past and tried to get away with it. This is a really disturbing person in the sense that this person will use their, your, their communication skill in order to overpower you. So if you recognize how Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra people speaks, it's as if they, because they are the energy of communication, but you are about focusing, being quiet, making your money mentally, okay? And that's a Capricorn. But whoever this person is came at you, like with a whole lot of, um, Wow. Uh, and you're like, oh, excuse me, this is a professional place. Don't speak to me like that. And, um, you know, whoever this person is was trying to pull their weight over you. And, you know, you stood up and let them recognize that, hey, do not play. I don't play games. I don't work for you. Um, you know, we are co-workers. We need to have respect. You know, I deserve to have respect from you. And a lot of you Capricorns is just going to be showing that up in the first week. So whoever this person is and whatever this person was trying to do, sometimes when you begin a new job, these people will try to step over you, work over you, or create some sort of a problems for you. But you just use the sword of truth and you... Um, you know, and do it in a professional way because whoever this woman is, is not doing it in a professional way. And I think this is the reason why you're not respecting this person and having no respect for this person because this person thinks that, um, you know, they can speak to you anyway as if, uh, you know, they can ac you accept anything that they say. And I see a lot of you are going to be standing there looking at this person as if, hey, don't treat me like that. I'm not your child. And I think that you are right because this person is just um, out of their unprofessional. This is very unprofessional what this person is doing in the first week. As we look at the second week, the second week is um, from the 29th um, until the 4th. The 29th until the 4th. So what we see is another emotional energy, which is the energy of, of debt. And it's as if you were fired um, the week before or you are fired the month before for some of you, but this is about debt. Now, um, the energy of debt is about transformation. So it could be, um, it's going to be, uh, it could be, you know, it, it, it could be that you were fired before and you're trying to resolve things. So transformation, the end, transformation is coming up. Some of you, it's a situation where you could have been fired or personal officer say they're going to be letting you go. You're trying to talk to them. You're trying to resolve some sort of a situation. Um, but it is already in the works. They already decide your fate and it is already in the works. And this is what I say to a lot of people. If you get a message from personal officer that, you know, your contract is not going to be extended, don't go kissing anyone ass and asking for it. No, just take it, leave it. It's good. Bye. Um, you know, success, uh, even if, when you don't know where the next job is going, it's about you finish a karma with these people. Whatever the karma that you had with these people or this group or this company, you have finished the karma with these people. Let it go. Don't go back trying to, you know, talk yourself back in. No, because they already make a decision. Once they're going to be saying it to you, they already make the decision. So let it go. Transformation, it has to come in. I see a lot of you trying to resolve some sort of a situation with personnel officer, but if you recognize this person already make their decision. So it doesn't really matter what you're going to be saying to this person and trying to change this person's mind. No, have your dignity, let it go, move on. And that is what is going to be transpiring. A lot of you are going to be having issues with a cancer and the scorpion. So a cancer and a scorpion could be getting fired they could be getting act also. So expect that a cancer, a cancer and a scorpion could be getting fired 
in the second week, the week of the 29th to the 4th, um, a Cancer and a Scorpion could be getting fired, okay? Changes, um, and they could be getting fired. All right, uh, ooh, let's move to the, oopsie daisy. Let's move to um, the fourth week, the third week, okay? So the third week, what we are dealing with in the third week, the third week we have the energy of the four of pentacles, the four of pentacles. Now, the four of pentacles is the sun in Capricorn, all right? The sun in Capricorn. But this energy is uh, an energy of what is coming up uh, and what the guides are saying is that it's as if you're going to be getting back some money. So if you were accused or treated unfairly by um an uh, by a uh, um an ex employer or employee and you have sued is like a big payout is going to be coming up okay so however this is and whatever is happening and transpire is as if some sort of a lawsuit that you had with an ex coworker or a former coworker or company, you could be receiving a big payout because if you notice, you're open for this money. It's as if you're fired. You're open for this money. It's not like you're holding on on the money. It's not in um, the upright position. It's in a reverse position where um, you're going to be paid out. So, you know, they have done you something wrong. And this um, third week, the week of uh, um, the 5th until the 11th is when you're going to be getting all of this money coming back to you from some sort of a legal issue where a co-worker or a co a, a co-worker or ex company has created a whole lot of uh, um, problems that try to ruin your reputation and they have to pay you and you're like opening taking this money because you're in the reverse it's not like you're holding on on it in the upright no you're not hiding anything you're opening openly taking this money because they have cost you your life your job your um reputation and i see that yeah they have to pay you so and um, this star week could be a week that a company that has to try to ruin your reputation and create a whole lot of problems for you is now have to be paying you and they're going to be issuing that this company pay you out in the third week. So a lot of you could be receiving this. So when you're looking at the crystal, if you had some sort of a legal issue with a coworker, a company, an ex-corporation, um, an ex-company that you have worked with, look at the um, the dice, the, the dice to, to know um, what is going to be transpiring. Look at the message under the dice, okay? So if you were having legal issues with a former company, look at the energy of the dice because that is going to be showing you some big payout. For the rest of you who have business, you, um, you're going to be having a lot of sales. A lot of outstanding debt is going to be paid back to you. So this is good um, in the third week, the week of the 5th until the 11th. So you could be getting a whole lot of sales or money could be coming in or some money that was owed to you is going to be paid back to you or your company in the third week, okay? And the third week is between the 5th until the 11th of April. 5th until the 11th of April. So this is going to be good. So these are wonderful alignment of energies um, that is coming up. Let's look at the fourth and last week. The fourth and last week is the energy of the hangman. What do we know of the energy of the hangman? It's about you um, going in yourself and trying to figure out something about a co-worker. You're trying to figure out something about a Pisces, okay? You're going to be taking on the Pisces energy and you're going to be recognizing something that was going on um, within your business or some sort of, uh, you're going to be going in to, you know, whenever, you know, the Ironman comes up in the reverse in a business reading, it's all about you being the Pisces, being the Neptune energy. The Neptune energy is about you thinking, taking time off and, you know, you're working, but you're thinking and trying to cipher out and resolve something. That is when Capricorn's analytical brain comes up. So it, this, uh, this week is powerful. So, you know, this two last week and this week is going to be the week of the 12th, 
the 12, between the 12 and the 19, you're being analytic. You're taking on the Pisces energy in order to be analytic. You're being analytic, trying to figure out something in a, <coughs> the week of the 12 to the 9, <coughs> 19. So be aware of this because um, that is the week where you're going to be recognizing a whole lot of stuff and analyzing some sort of a stuff that was going on. I really do love you and say namaste until next time. Please remember, use the link below to get to your symbol. Choose a symbol. I gotta go.